To the town of Aquaf free of road a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. For the ranger was among them, had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and running, came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, that many men were dead. He was a vicious killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol number one in nineteen more, one in nineteen more. Now the stranger started talking and made it plain to folks around. He was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red, after Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men had tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the stranger with a big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from their windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death, was about to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas Red had not cleared leather when a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with a big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip, big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip, the big iron on his hip. That's good.